Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we are going to be once again looking at Cradle of Filth. Uh, now a few days ago they released a new track called She Is A Fire. Um, I haven't listened to the track yet specifically for the purpose of doing this video. Uh, now I've mentioned many times in the past that Cradle of Filth is one of my absolute favourite bands. You know I've been listening to their music ever since I heard the track Nocturnal Supremacy from the Vampire album uh, which I found on a cover CD, CD from a Metal Hammer magazine a long, long, long time ago, back when they actually used to put cover CDs on um, magazines. Um, now, I've always been a huge fan of Cradle of Filth. You know, I, Cradle was the second ever gig that I went to. Um, that when they released the uh, DVD for Cradle to Enslave, they actually used concert footage from a concert I had been to. Um, and I believe you, you can actually see me in the crowd if you look very, very carefully. Um, so, you know, they've always been a band I've really enjoyed. I've seen them live two, maybe three times now. Um, so, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this track, you know. They've had a couple of misses, in my opinion. You know, some of their albums sort of went a bit odd. But I've always really enjoyed their music overall. So, yeah. So the track is called She Is A Fire. I have lyrics here. I don't know where they come from, so I don't know how accurate they are. Um, it comes from Lyric Find. So I don't know how accurate these lyrics are going to be, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. So anyway, let's jump into this track and see what we've got. So She Is A Fire by Cradle of Filth. Let's have a look.
And there we go. She is a fire by Cradle of Filth. And it's pretty much typically what you'd expect from Cradle of Filth. You know, they've got that really fast, hard, heavy sort of black metal sort of feel about them. Although they never actually really felt black metal, black metal to me. You know, they don't have that sort of burzum sort of black metal feel about them. You know, they're, they're, they're good well-produced black metal-ish, if that makes any sense. Um, but I've always liked their music. And this uh, this has a sort of older older feel to it. Uh, you know, there were, there were certain albums along the line that sort of the musical style changed a bit. You know, they didn't rely so heavy on things like the keyboards and the violins like they used to in things like Dusk and Her Embrace and you know, um, Midian, you know, albums like that, you know, they had the violins, they had the organs, the keyboards, you know, and they, they, they used to be a much bigger presence of those in the music. And that, that sort of disappeared further up the line for a while. Um, I mean, I mean, this track itself doesn't have like the violins in it per se. Uh, it has piano in it, of course. Um, you know, but there's something about the, f the, the way the music is played in this, it feels a bit, more old school sort of you know more towards um maybe oh, I, I say old school more more towards things like thornography maybe you know sort of post uh post midian sort of that sort of era um but it, it's it's really good i really like it now with most cradle of filth albums they are generally concept albums which normally tell a much larger overarching story um so trying to figure out a story or a meaning behind lyrics is, is, is quite difficult um and you know he's saying here she is a fire you know and you, you get the idea from the lyrics and the video some sort of demon devil sort of person that's about as much as i can you know get from it um and it goes she will ring from you all secrets that you kept locked away in sadness and she will play where dark pathways of the mind stumble blindly into madness so she will ring from you all the secrets you keep locked away in sadness so she'll she'll pick at all the things that sort of trigger you maybe you know she will play where dark pathways of the mind stumble you know so she's going to mess with your head she's going to she got to pick all these things that sort of trigger you all these sort of deep feelings you keep hidden locked away the things that cause you misery and stuff like that she's going to sit there and she's going to play with them you know just to fuck with your mind basically by the sounds of things um her eyes are filled with the weight of mountains desire spurting from her sacred fountains who we were um Red Hot is her inclination, I beg incineration. She came walking from the flame, burning with dark inspiration. She is a fire. She is a fire. 
As far as Venus goes, she twists the bind between the marble and the sculptor. Slight of waist, slight of mind, fates refined, spells to shelter her from vultures. So, as far as Venus goes, she twists the bind between marble and the sculptor. Not sure. A slight of waste, slight of mind, fates refined, spells to shelter her from vultures. So she, she's she got this way of keeping away these people that might sort of prey on her, possibly. Um, uh, a furnace heat of needs surmounting, she melts my beaten heartbeat down and counting. Red hot is her inclination, I beg incineration. She came dancing from the flame, burning with dark inspiration. She is a fire. Weaponized, galvanized, even in mortal guise, death would tremble just to take her. So death death is afraid of her, possibly, you know. Weaponized, galvanized, even in mortal guise. So even in a human form, death would be scared to, to take her from the living world, you know, because she is that formidable. Uh, just like a calm, just like a calm sea, neath which the kraken unfurls its deafening limbs, she's a smouldering. She's a smouldering psalm. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Poised to make good on ignitable sins. Poised to make good on her delightful sins. So poised to make good on ignitable sins. So again, you know, she she's there to sort of cause trouble by the sounds of things and then it goes back into that red hot is her inclination i beg incineration she came walking from the flame burning with dark inspiration she is a fire and then they get repeated again so you know like i said this is possibly part of a much bigger story so you know it's, it's hard to sort of grasp any big meaning from this but by the sounds of things he's talking about some woman who is pretty much likened to a demon or a devil who likes to f fuck with your mind and likes to play around with you but she's a bit of a seductress and that sort of thing but you know she's good at keeping away people that might cause her problems sort of thing that's what it sort of sounds like but it's really hard to tell without the um overall album concept to explain the rest of the story um but you know i like it you know, I, I like Cradle of Filth's music. Like I said, I've been a huge fan of theirs for many, 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 many years when I first heard that track. And, you know, they're, they're still putting out good music. You know, there was a period of time where they were putting out, like, one album every year. And I think that's roughly when the quality of their music sort of declined a bit because it seemed like they were just pushing stuff out just because they could. You know, rather than taking the time to make rather than taking maybe a year maybe two years to make one really really good album they were just churning stuff out and the, the the quality sort of dropped a little bit at that point but now they're going back to that sort of period where they're sort of taking their time over an album you know taking time to refine it and you know put the put the quality back into it rather than just churning it out for the sake of churning it out um you know, and I, I really like it. I like, like I say, I love Cradle of Filth. Been a huge fan of them for many, many years. And, uh, yeah. What else can I say about that? So I'm going to leave that as it is. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, maybe even subscribe, because that would help me out immensely. Uh, I had someone message me a couple of days ago saying it's taken them three weeks to, for one of my videos to turn up in, in their, like, suggestions. Uh, because I, I'm quite simply just not getting enough people watching my videos. You know, I'm, I'm lucky if I get, like, 10 views in in a week. You know, so, you know, if, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, you know, it would help me out immensely. You know, even if you don't necessarily watch my videos, you know, it would help me out quite considerably. Because, you know, th there are people that do enjoy watching what I do maybe not as much as other uh, reactors because you know other reactors do those really over the top sort of oh, sort of reactions and I, I find those reactions really really fake i don't find them very entertaining because they're not giving an honest and genuine opinion and reaction to a piece of music some people might get that excited about it but a lot of them i don't think are genuine uh, and that's just me you know i like to be completely honest in my videos you know i like to give an honest reaction i like to talk about what the song means which 
a lot of other reactors don't. And, you know, I've had many people that have come to my channel saying, you know, it's interesting that you do that because I don't see anybody else doing it. And that's, you know, one of the main things I wanted to do with this channel. But I'm, I'm just not getting people viewing my channel. And it's it's getting quite depressing. I've, I've actually been contemplating whether or not to stop doing it. Because, um, you know, I'm putting all the time and effort into it and just no one's watching it. So, you know, if, if you can like and subscribe and, you know, that it would really help my channel. Um, but yeah, can't really say much more on that. So uh, thank you all very, very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.